fire spreads on an almost microscopic level. Tiny little crispy edges of plants get superheated by hair dryer like winds long before they burst into flames. What the wind does is it pushes the heat coming off of the flames downwind and it preheats and pre dries the fuel in front of the fire, making the ignition easier and faster. If little particles or branches or little twigs or leaves break loose from the vegetation that's burning, they can fly downwind and start spot fires, so the fire basically leaps over itself. Jumping around and over the heads of firefighters who have to climb large hills to get to the next patch of fire. This way? Oh, over here? Ugh. Wow, we haven't even started walking up this hill just yet. Look at how easily this dirt pushes away when you grab onto it with your foot or with your hand. And we've got fire right over here too. This is dangerous work. So I just climbed up that hill. I didn't have any equipment on me at all. Right. Well, yeah, the average about 45, 50 pounds is what we carry. The basic essentials, food, water, radios, extra batteries. We're trying to get as much as this done before any weather changes. We pick a point where we think it's safe to make an attack where, you know, we won't get burned around and we go up the sides together, kind of, until we can get to the other end and pinch it off. 